Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our space exploration series. Today, we have an exciting topic to delve into, the Chandrayaan Project by the Indian Space Research Organization. Over the next 30 minutes, we'll take you on a journey through India's lunar missions, from the groundbreaking Chandrayaan-1 to the ambitious Chandrayaan-2 and beyond. So, let's strap in and explore the moon together. Alright, let's talk about Chandrayaan-1's exciting journey to the moon and why it's a big deal. Picture this, it's October 22nd, 2008, and in India, at the Sadish Doan Space Center, a huge rocket is about to take off. On top of that rocket was Chandrayaan-1, a special spacecraft designed to go to the moon. Now, going to the moon is no easy task. But why did India want to go to the moon in the first place? The moon has always been a mysterious neighbor in our sky, and scientists were curious to learn more about it. So, Chandrayaan-1 had a bunch of cool tools on board, like cameras and sensors. One of the most amazing things it found was water on the moon. Imagine finding water where no one expected it, but Chandrayaan-1 wasn't just a solo mission. It had friends from around the world, instruments and experiments from other countries too. This collaboration made the mission even more special. It showed that people from different places can work together to explore space. Chandrayaan-1 talked to Earth and sent back all the cool stuff it discovered. But then, it faced some challenges. Unfortunately, we lost contact with Chandrayaan-1 in 2009. It was like losing a friend in space, but the mission's legacy lives on. It was a huge step for India in space exploration and inspired more missions to the moon. So, the launch of Chandrayaan-1 and the discoveries it made were a big deal for science and for India's space dreams. Now, let's fast forward to another exciting chapter in India's space exploration journey, the launch and significance of Chandrayaan-1. Imagine a sunny day in July 2019 at the Sadish Doan Space Center. This time, a massive rocket was preparing for liftoff on top of that powerful rocket was Chandrayaan-2, a mission with even bigger dreams than its predecessor, Chandrayaan-1. Chandrayaan-2's mission? To explore the moon, but it had a more ambitious plan. This mission was a team effort with three parts, an orbiter, a lander named Vikram, and a rover called Pregyon, and it wasn't just any part of the moon they were interested in, it was the tricky South Pole. Chandrayaan-2 was packed with cool scientific instruments and cameras to study the moon's surface, map its minerals, and search for water ice. Now, here's the exciting part. On September 6, 2019, the lander Vikram separated from the orbiter and began its descent to make a soft landing. The whole world held its breath as India aimed to become the fourth country to achieve a soft landing on the moon. But, as you might remember, the journey wasn't without its challenges. We lost contact with Vikram during the descent. Chandrayaan 2's significance goes beyond a single moment. It's about India's ambition, its commitment to space exploration, and the lessons learned. And like its predecessor, Chandrayaan 2 was a collaborative mission with instruments from other countries promoting international teamwork. Chandrayaan 3 was launched aboard an LVM 3M4 rocket on 14 July 2023 at 9.05 Universal Time coordinated from Sadish Doan Space Center second launch pad in Sriharikota, Andhra Pradesh, India, entering an Earth parking orbit with a perigee of 170 km and an apogee of 36,500 km. After a series of Earth-bound maneuvers that placed Chandrayaan-3 in a translunar injection orbit, Indian Space Research Organization performed a lunar orbit insertion on 5 August, successfully placing the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft into an orbit around the moon. The LOI operation was carried out from the ISRO Telemetry, Tracking, and Command Network, ISTRAC, in Bengaluru. On August 17th, the Vikram landers separated from the propulsion module to begin the last phase of the mission. On August 23rd, 2023, as the lander approached the low point of its orbit, its four engines fired as a braking maneuver at 30 kilometers above the moon's surface. After 11.5 minutes, the lander was 7.2 kilometers, 4.5 miles above the surface. It maintained this altitude for about 10 seconds, then stabilized itself using eight smaller thrusters and rotated from a horizontal to a vertical position while continuing its descent. 
It then used two of its four engines to slow its descent to roughly 150 meters, 490 feet. It hovered there for about 30 seconds and located an optimal landing spot before continuing downward and touching down at 1233. On September 3rd, the rover was put into sleep mode after it had completed all of its assignments. Its batteries were charged and receiver left on, according to ISRO, in preparation for the impending lunar night. The rover's payloads are turned off and the data it collected has been transmitted to Earth via the lander, the statement said. Chandrayaan 3's lander and rover were expected to operate only for one lunar daylight period, or 14 Earth days, and the onboard electronics were not designed to withstand the minus 120 degrees Celsius minus 184 degrees Fahrenheit nighttime temperatures on the moon. On September 22nd, the lander and rover missed their wake-up calls, and by September 28th neither had responded, diminishing hopes for further surface operations. Now, before we dive deeper into our lunar exploration journey, let's take a moment to appreciate the remarkable achievements of the Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, in the field of space exploration. It all began with the vision of Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, the founding father of India's space program, who dreamt of using space technology for India's development. ISRO's journey began with the launch of Aryabhata, India's first satellite, in 1975. This marked a significant milestone in the country's space endeavors. Over the years, ISRO has made impressive strides in launching a series of communication, Earth observation, and navigation satellites. One of ISRO's most celebrated achievements was the Mars Orbiter Mission, Mangalayan, which made India the first Asian country to reach Mars and the fourth space agency globally to do so. And, of course, we can't forget Chandrayaan-1, India's maiden lunar mission, which made headlines worldwide for its groundbreaking discovery of water on the moon. Chandrayaan-2, our focus today, marked another significant milestone in ISRO's journey. ISRO satellites have played vital roles in telecommunications, whether forecasting, disaster management, and national security. The PSLV, often referred to as ISRO's workhorse, gained a reputation for launching satellites into various orbits with precision and cost-effectiveness. ISRO has actively engaged in international collaborations, sharing its expertise and knowledge, and participating in joint missions. Behind these achievements are the dedicated scientists and engineers at ISRO who work tirelessly to push the boundaries of space exploration. ISRO's success rate in launching satellites and exploring celestial bodies is a testament to its commitment to excellence. ISRO's work not only benefits India but also makes a significant impact on the global stage. Now, let's talk about the global impact of India's lunar missions, particularly Chandrayaan-1 and Chandrayaan-2. These missions have extended their influence beyond India's borders and contributed to our collective understanding of the moon and the broader field of space exploration. First and foremost, both Chandrayaan missions have been shining examples of international collaboration in space exploration. Scientists and researchers from various countries have contributed their expertise by providing scientific instruments and experiments for these missions. The data collected by Chandrayaan-1 and Chandrayaan-2 is openly shared with the global scientific community, allowing researchers from around the world to benefit from these missions. Chandrayaan's discoveries, including the detection of water on the moon, have sparked a renewed interest in lunar exploration across the globe. These missions have facilitated knowledge exchange, bringing together experts from different nations to collectively unravel the moon's mysteries. The detailed lunar maps and scientific data provided by Chandrayaan missions have become essential references for lunar research and publications. India's active participation in lunar missions has elevated its status as a credible space exploration partner and fostered cooperation with space agencies worldwide. As we explore the future of lunar exploration, it's clear that Chandrayaan's global impact will continue to shape our collective knowledge of the moon. Now, let's turn our gaze toward the future and explore what's in store for lunar exploration. The moon, our celestial neighbor, continues to captivate the imagination of space agencies and scientists worldwide. There's a lunar renaissance happening right now, with numerous missions planned by various countries to unlock the moon's secrets. 
One of the most eagerly anticipated missions is NASA's Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon by the mid-2020s. The program also includes building a lunar gateway, a space station that will orbit the moon and serve as a staging point for lunar exploration. China has made significant strides with its China missions, and they're actively planning more lunar missions, including the establishment of a lunar research station. Russia, with its rich space exploration history, is developing plans for lunar exploration, including robotic missions and potentially human lunar missions in the future. Private companies, such as SpaceX, are getting in on the lunar action too. SpaceX has announced plans for lunar tourism and cargo missions. And, of course, India's Chandrayaan-3, as we discussed earlier, is poised to make a significant impact on lunar exploration. What's exciting is that these lunar missions often involve international collaborations, showcasing a truly global effort to explore the moon. Scientists are also eyeing the moon as a potential resource hub, with its stores of water ice and other valuable minerals that could support future deep space exploration. The Lunar South Pole, in particular, is a hotspot for exploration, with its unique scientific value and potential resources. Looking further ahead, there's growing interest in the idea of establishing a sustainable human presence on the moon. Lunar bases and habitats are being considered, potentially serving as stepping stones for missions to Mars and beyond. This could mean that, in the coming decades, we will witness astronauts conducting long-term lunar expeditions, conducting research, and living and working on the moon. As we wrap up our discussion on the future of lunar exploration, it's clear that the moon continues to be a source of inspiration, discovery, and collaboration for humanity. The next era of lunar exploration promises to be an exciting journey of new discoveries and possibilities, and we can't wait to see what the future holds. And there you have it, folks, our journey through the fascinating world of lunar exploration. From the historic Chandrayaan 1 to the ambitious Chandrayaan 2, and the promising future of Chandrayaan 3. We've witnessed the incredible strides made by India in understanding our lunar neighbor. We've explored the moon's mysteries, celebrated remarkable discoveries, and highlighted the global impact of India's space endeavors. It's been a reminder that space exploration is a collaborative and worldwide effort, with countries joining hands to expand our knowledge of the universe. As we look ahead to the future of lunar exploration, it's clear that the moon holds the key to unlocking many more secrets and potential resources. So, my friends, let's keep our eyes on the moon, because it's a constant source of inspiration and discovery. It's a celestial companion that has been there since the beginning of time, and there's still so much more to learn. If you enjoyed this journey through the moon, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more space exploration content. As always, keep looking up at the stars because there's always more to discover in the universe. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for plenty stuff.